Welcome back to my garage. Uh, today is time for assembly and uh, I don't know if you watch my other videos with uh, the sax engine where I show where you place the shim in here so I don't show that on this video. I just show the assembly of the book C50 engine. So what I do now is to um, put grease inside these bearings like this. And this is just to be able to put the, all of the needles inside here. So if I have grease here, they will stick and then I can put on the shafts. Okay, so now I will put in the shafts. Carefully. And this time I assemble it the other way around uh, to the part. So remember to place the shin on the right side here. The drive shaft. Push it down. Like so. So now every one of the needles is, is inside of these bearing holders here and they are safe for now. And then I have this one left but as I talked about and shown in this one I will place them inside of here and then when I turn it around they will stay. They hopefully during the time I put the, uh, this uh, uh, ending block part uh, on the other one. Okay, so now I have uh, put uh, everything uh, inside from the gearbox point of view. Um, I have this little guy here uh, that we put into this hole here. And this is for, just don't lose the, the screen there. I never actually put it together from this side before, but when I thought of it, it seems like a better idea because I only have one of these needle bearings here, so we'll see if it if it works or not. <laughs> uh, but I hope so. So I put uh, the same as in in the other side. I put all the needles inside here with grease. I put some grease on top of it so they they will not fall down when I when I put this on. So, so now it's just uh, this part uh, here, and that's the fun part or the scary part. But usually it works. So uh, the gasket is here. I think it seems to be okay. So that's how it works. Uh, 
I know exactly why I used to take it in the other direction. <laughs> I'm so stupid right now. This one here is should be inside of here. And that's impossible when you do it from this side. So that is why I usually take it from the other side. So yes, we do everything. <laughs> no worries. You learn from your mistakes. Okay, so now I turned everything around again. And then what is the problem then? Or what was the problem? This guy here that moves the shifts the, the, the different from between different gears has to be inside here. And that's impossible if I put it uh, together in the from the other side. So now I'm back to normal. But that's good. Now I will never do the same mistake again. And hopefully you wouldn't do that either if you look at this video. Um, okay, so I managed to uh, save this uh, to save this this ones. So I will put some more grease on so they are stick uh, on this. But it will it will work. No, this is good one. Now I remember that this one has to be greased too. So, Okay, so if you look carefully now, I put a lot of grease on this one because this guy will most certainly fall out the easiest uh, of all of these parts. Uh, so now we try this again the other side, the other way around. And I think it's for the best to put the gear in somewhere in the middle so it doesn't, this doesn't hit a, a high spot here. So everything seems to be okay. Now we just to put it together. So it's the same here, it has to be carefully done. And the tricky part is that this ceiling here is kind of quite tight. So but as long as you get the the the, the shafts uh, in, in line, nothing would happen inside. So. Hopefully. Okay. So when you put it together this much, there's no problem with the they will they, they can't fall out. Okay. Checking the gears. Hmm. Yeah. So it works. So now it's you more or less just to screw everything together again.
So, if you look here, we have a cutout in this part and a cutout in this, and this be on this side. So the cutout should be placed downwards when you put on the, the cover. So, just put on the cover like so, and then check that this one engages in the right way. So now it's now it's working. And this is good to know. So when you've done this, it's good to put this this part on so it doesn't move around. Like so. And then we'll put it in the bolts. 